So, here is another question on electric potential. It is given that four point charges of plus 1 microcoulomb, plus 1 microcoulomb, minus 1 microcoulomb and minus 1 microcoulomb are placed at the corners A, B, C and D of a square of side 0.1 meter respectively. If E is the midpoint of the side BC, what is the work done in carrying an electron from point O to point E? Okay, so this is the <coughs> situation where okay, here we have plus one microcoulomb at A, then again at B plus one microcoulomb at C we have minus one microcoulomb and again at D we have minus one microcoulomb. These are the charges placed at A, B, C and D. E is the midpoint. The side is 0.1 meter. So, square so A, B is equal to B, C is equal to C, D is equal to A, D 0.1 meter. Now, for taking a charge from an initial point to a final point, we remember the formula work done in taking a charge Q, let us say from an initial point I to a final point F is equal to that charge multiplied with the final point potential minus the initial point potential. Basically, the potential difference between the final and initial point. So, here the work done in carrying an electron from point O to point E is equal to electronic charge QE into VE minus VO. QE we know 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. We have to calculate VE and VO. Okay? The potential at point O and potential at point E. So, for that <coughs> potential at point O. We have four charges here placed at A, B, C and D. So, it will be the sum total of the electric potential due to charge A, B, C and D. So, that will be equal to QA by 4 pi epsilon 0 OA. We know electric potential is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 R, where R is the distance of the charge from the point where the electric potential is to be calculated. Then plus QB by 4 pi epsilon 0 OB then plus QC by 4 pi epsilon 0 OC plus QD by 4 pi epsilon 0 OD. So, here we can take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 common. Okay? Another interesting thing. Now, it is a square so, here this is the center point. So, where we have OA is equal to OB is equal to OC is equal to OD. So, let us call it uh, let us say L. Okay, Each of this L. So, here all of this it will be equal to L because they are equal. So, this will be equal to L this will be equal to L, this will be equal to L and this will also be equal to L. So, we can take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 L common. Okay? So, this will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 L, the common OA is equal to OB is equal to OC is equal to OD that is equal to L. 
all of this 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 and this then we have QA plus QB plus QC plus QD now here QA and QB that is equal to plus 1 microcoulomb and here also plus 1 microcoulomb then QC is equal to minus 1 microcoulomb and QD is also minus 1 microcoulomb so we have 2 microcoulomb minus 2 microcoulomb net is 0 so total potential electric potential the net electric potential at point O due to the four you know charges placed at A, B, C and D that is equal to 0 volt so V O we have calculated now we have to calculate how much the potential at point E so here let us say uh, for this we join these two points ok why I am doing it I will tell you and this point we have joined now again the potential the electric potential at point E will be due to these four charges again these four charges will contribute it will be the sum total of potentials because of these four charges so that will be equal to okay the potential at point E due to these four charges V E will be equal to Q A by 4 pi epsilon 0 A plus Q B by 4 pi epsilon 0 B E plus Q C by 4 pi epsilon 0 C E plus Q D by 4 pi epsilon 0 D so here if you see if you look at this diagram here we have E is the midpoint of B C so obviously here B E is equal to C ok B E is equal to C and C is equal to B and C D is equal to A B so A will be equal to D E which is equal to either way whatever you do it will be equal to A B square plus B square that way you do or C D square plus C square using Pythagoras theorem so A will be equal to D ok A will be equal to D so let us A equal to D B equal to A and B is equal to C that will be equal to B we assign ok let A is equal to D is equal to A and B is equal to C that will be equal to B <coughs> let us assign that so now we have here if we assign the values A will be equal to A D will be equal to A B will be equal to B C will be equal to B ok Q A is how much plus 1 microcoulomb Q B is plus 1 microcoulomb Q C is equal to minus 1 microcoulomb Q D is equal to minus 1 microcoulomb so we have if we take 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 common 1 microcoulomb 
by A plus 1 microcoulomb by B minus 1 microcoulomb by B minus 1 microcoulomb by A. So, here 1 microcoulomb by A minus 1 microcoulomb by A gets cancelled. 1 microcoulomb by B minus 1 microcoulomb by B gets cancelled. So, here also the electric potential at point E due to these four charges that is equal to 0 volt. So, V O is equal to 0 volt, V E is also equal to 0 volt. So, the work done in taking the charge from O to E that it will be equal to 0 joules. Okay? The work done in taking an electron from O to E that will be equal to Q E into V E minus V O. Both are 0. So, it will be equal to 0 joule. No work will be done in taking an electron from O to E. Okay? No work is done. Okay? So, this is the